so for any of you who uh, have a good memory of being a child, and I'm sorry that I always draw lots of comparisons to when we were children, but I think it actually is helpful in the spiritual life to think of what it means to be childlike. Uh, but when we were young, one thing which I think we used to uh, really like were surprises. Remember that? Surprise! Oh, it's a surprise! A surprise birthday party and surprises for Christmas. And uh, Or you get into the car, remember that? Where are we going? Oh, it's, it's a surprise, it's a surprise. Oh, it's a surprise! You sit in the car and you wonder where you're going to end up, you know. And we love these kind of surprises. And everything everything was a surprise. So, Jenny, when, when it would snow, <gasps> surprise! And when you, you know, someone would jump into your room, it's your birthday, surprise! And, and like everything was amazing. Everything's just like one surprise to the next, and we loved it, okay? Um, once we start to get old and, as they'd say up north, a bit more crabbed, um, we, we, we tend to like surprises a lot less. We like and things like to be predictable, okay? We like to watch the weather forecast so we know what's going We're not surprised by the weather anymore. In Ireland, that's really, really easy. You know, scattered showers, intermittent misery, and a wee bit of sun. That's, that's your weather forecast. Why do we watch the weather forecast at all in Ireland? Anyway, <clears throat> we, tend, we tend to like surprises an awful lot less. In fact, if anything, we tend to look towards the future or next week or next month with a share of fear. You know, I'm wishing she's going for tests, she's going, you know, and, there's, and there's a real fear. Or, or oh, sure, what's going to happen to the economy now next year? Sure, who knows? Bless us and save us. And do you know she's after getting to go on? And there's always an awful fear of the future. So, and, and in fact, don't, don't surprise me. Don't surprise me with anything, right? We don't like surprises. We, we tend to, we, we prefer to be, we per, prefer to have things predictable, okay? Because then, then we know where we're going, we know what we're doing, and it's all good. And surprises are the enemy, almost. Uh, which, unfortunately, is a big problem when it comes to the faith, because Jesus is full of surprises. The children will be delighted to know. Jesus is full of surprises. Uh, he, what he does and the way he works, it isn't human logic. It isn't, he doesn't follow a, a kind of a, a strategy or a human program. Uh, the way he does things is divine, right? So he sees the, the bigger picture much more than we do. We see a small little section of history with our small little section of our, of our past 30, 40, 50 years, whatever it is, and we have a very, very limited understanding of the future. So we see a small little snippet of the picture, whereas he sees the whole thing from the very beginning to the very, very end, and what our role is in that. So he, he can do things that we might not understand at the time, just like you parents do for your children. When you say, dear little Johnny, we're going to the dentist. And Johnny might not understand why it's important to go to the dentist, even though he's got a tooth growing out of his forehead or whatever it may be, like there's something really tragic going on there. And, you know, so you bring him to the dentist and he may be uncomfortable, he may have to get braces for 17 years or whatever it is. And then in the end, voila, American smile. Uh, but uh, all good. But at the time, they might not understand why, why, why should we be doing this? Why am I getting metal put into my mouth and elastic bands? This is ridiculous. Um, you know, but it makes sense in the end, or any surgery, anything, anytime you have to bring a child to the hospital, they might not understand what you're doing or why you're doing it, but you, as the adult with a slightly bigger picture, see the importance and the need for this, even if it's surprising for the child and even if it's actually painful. You see the bigger picture and you know that this, while you don't want the pain, the pain isn't, isn't what you want at all, you want the healing that the pain brings. So. And the Lord does <clears throat> surprises. We see on the, uh, in, in our reading today, it's uh, John chapter 6. So the apostles are out in the lake. They've rowed out three or four miles. They left without Jesus. I don't know, I don't know who, was the, who was the Swiss guard on that boat that said, well, Jesus isn't here. We're leaving without him. That'll teach him. Uh, so they row out anyway. Wow. Um, so they're three or four miles out. And they see Jesus walking on the lake. This frightened them. But he said, it is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but in no time they reached the shore. So another, it's, it's kind of a, a, a very understated miracle there. So they're three or four miles out. They're, not, they're in the middle of the lake. They're not, the lake isn't three or four miles wide. They're, <clears throat> they weren't near the shore. But when they see Jesus, like the, the situation is resolved very quickly, all of a sudden. 
Well, Jesus builds surprises. Everything from, <coughs> okay, my vocation was quite a surprise to me, if I'm honest. Uh, uh, even Holy Family Mission, the way it all developed and the way just the, the way the Lord had arranged all the, the providence that this house would be available to us and given to the diocese that then we could use uh, to, to create this place, uh, that's, that was surprising. Didn't see that coming. Uh, what the future has in store for each of these young people here, uh, we don't know. We don't know, but like the feedback from others has been very, very good and often very surprising. I'm thinking of a few vocations that might, one, one might not have seen coming in early days, but there you go. Uh, surprises. The Lord surprises us. Thank God. Because <laughs> our fearful, dare I say, without sounding judgmental, narrow-minded view would mean that we would always play it so safe that we would do very, very little. Whereas the Lord knows if you reach out Okay, in this absolutely solid belief that, as St. Paul says, that we can do all things in Christ who strengthens us, then we can do more than our mere human nature can do on its own. And that will and should surprise us. Because on our own, we can't do these things. With God, we can. So that should, that should be a surprise. That when we reach out and do what the Lord is asking us to do, that we can do more than we could on our own. So, if you want to follow the Lord, <clears throat> get used to surprises. Get used to this Christmassy feeling of surprises every day. The Lord surprises us with, with his love, his mercy, his generosity. He surprises us with his miracles and his providence, his forgiveness. He surprises us with his love, undeserved as it is. And he will surprise us with what we can do for his greater glory if we are open to his grace working in and through us. And so we ask the good Lord to help us to pray with our psalmist today. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Amen.